Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I have been tagged by Alicia Bland and she tagged me to do the 10 questions so I have wrote them all down and I've been calling her Alicia for ever since I've known her and I, she said the other day her name, you can call her Alicia but it's really Alicia so I don't know, I'll, I'll try to do that Alicia but Alicia <laughs> anyway um, the 10 questions are, what is my name? My name is Margie Jo Berenger, and, um, but most people call me Mimi because that's what my grandkids call me, and that's what my YouTube name is. It says, how did I come up with my YouTube name? My YouTube name is Mimi's Crafty Shop, and Mimi's from my grandkids, and um, my daughter always called me Mimi, and I called her Missy Moo when she was a little girl, so it's kind of stuck and so uh, that's the name I knew I would let my grandkids call me. Anyway, um, and Crafty Shop, I was trying to come up with something for my Etsy store that would tie into my YouTube channel and all work together so I would have one name. So that's how it came out and I, I, it worked. Um, my favorite craft, uh, this is a hard one because I like a lot of crafts. Um, right now, yes, I'm into junk journals, and I absolutely love them because I love the variety of them. I love fabrics. I love laces and doilies and, you know, scrapbook paper, um, doing, you know, the ephemera that goes with them, the digital downloads. I just love all of it and the variety uh, because, you know, you can use um, so many different themes, you know, vintage, uh, botanical, birds, um, seasonal. You know, it just has such a variety, and there's something for everyone. So that's what I like about it. And um, let's see, what else is the other one? Uh, number four, favorite places to shop for crafts. Well, I really love to go to resale shopping and go to craft malls and, and antique stores. Um, I like to support uh, the local people here where I live and I go to a lot of the craft malls and little places around here and I love to support the people on Etsy because I know how important it is to me to get people to shop at my store so I think small uh, it's important to shop small for small town or small businesses so I try to do that as much as possible I mean I do go to Hobby Lobby and I do go to I love Tuesday mornings that's one of my most favorite places is Tuesday morning because it has a lot of variety and you can get some good prices. And uh, I do shop on Amazon sometimes. Uh, it says five um, top five crafty YouTube channels. And I said, wow, that's a hard one because there's so many good people out there and I absolutely love and um, I watch a lot of different people. But these are the five that I come up with. So, uh, Lori, Girl on the Ridge, um, she's a fantastic um, crafter. She makes gorgeous journals and gorgeous YouTube chart tutorials. I mean, they're short and fun, and she's just a fun person. And Elizabeth from Miss Cox Crafts, um, she's absolutely fabulous at what she does. Um, she, when I first started out, she you know, commented on my YouTube channel. She helped me a whole bunch when I first started for on my Etsy store. And um, she has just turned her, her YouTube channel and Etsy store into a great big business. And she has like 16,000 YouTubers now. So, you know, I love to watch people have a success story like that. And Ruby from Little Books. Uh, Ruby, um, I think she lives in the UK. She is just the sweetest person in the world, and she, um, I love her uh, really whimsical feel to her, uh, the, how she crafts, and she uses all kinds of elements and everything, what she makes, and she likes fairies, and you know, she just does everything so, I mean, it's just, she makes it look so easy, and I love it, and she's such a sweetheart. And Clemmy from Clemmy's Creations, um, she is another one that I've kind of watched just go from having very few subscribers into, you know, having quite a lot. And she has a, a lot of really neat ideas. I, I love to watch her come up with these things that she puts in her journals and it just amazes me. And I just, I, I love uniqueness like that. 
And of course, last but not least, Jeanette from My Cottage Crafts. I think she is a phenomenal, I mean, I can't even say the word, phenomenal, excuse me, um, crafter, um, artist. Uh, she amazes me when she makes stuff because how she puts stuff together and how she comes up with so many different ideas. I mean, I, I just don't know how she does it, but she's got a very creative mind. So I love watching her uh, craft and watching her YouTubes. My favorite color is, um, I'm really into warm colors. I love the fall and I love fall colors. But if you could look around in my craft room, I love the shabby look too. I'm not gonna show you too much because I wanna do a, a YouTube on my craft room because I finally got, have gotten it fixed up. But my whole um, hutch over there is just full of fun, pretty things that I've collected over the years and some stuff that I've gotten recently and things that people have given me. And, um, you know, but I also love the really warm colors too. I really like a lot of color, so I'm kind of a color person. I like too much. Uh, let's see, what's the next question? Number seven, favorite craft tool. Now that's a hard one because I like a lot of different stuff. Um, I don't really know if I have a favorite. Um, you know, it doesn't take a lot to, to, to have to craft. I mean, you can use a lot of scissors and, you know, glues and if you got a, a few things you can craft it doesn't you don't have to have a lot but I do have a lot of stuff um, I really love my bone folder I love my stamps my inks I think they really put a lot of you know make a lot of texture and uh, laces and dolly's ephemera you know I love all that stuff and I love making collages so um, that may not be tools but um, you know it's just part of stuff that I like to use so when I'm crafting. It says, where do, does your love for crafting come from? Well, my granny was an excellent crafter. Um, she was a huge crochet and tatting, um, and she loved to, and she sewed. She made things um, for us grandkids and stuff, and so I was always watching her as she sat, and as she, she was constantly doing something with her hands. So I was always amazed, and I wish that I had let her was taught by her how to crochet. But you know, I was a young kid and you know, I didn't get into it until I was older. I taught myself how to crochet and I'm not very good at it. But anyway, I wished I had learned more from her. And then my mom, you know, a lot of y'all know my mother is vintage art treasures and granny. Um, she's a big crafter and she makes a lot of things, but she, what we call her is the supply lady and she likes to buy supplies. So. She always is gifting me and um, letting me use a lot of her stuff, so I'm always thankful for that. Um, let's see, when did you start crafting? Well, I didn't start probably crafting until in my high school years, I taught myself to sew, which I never was very good at it, but I did sew for my, for my daughter and stuff, you know, over the years, and then I kind of got out of it because you know, I never was just a really, I, it, it was frustrating to me. I didn't find sewing relaxing like a lot of people do. And uh, I macrame, I, I mean, I did all that kind of stuff. Made wreaths, you know, made the sweatshirts with the stuff on it, the bling, you know, I'd, I've done all of it. And um, I've always kind of crafted over the years and, you know, I kind of got out of it. And then my mom kind of got me into YouTube and she got me into, you know, watching all these crafty people and you know we got talking about making journals one day and she said you know you can make journals and you could sell them and I said okay well I'm gonna go home and make some and so that was it that was the end of that now I've been doing it I'm obsessed with it and let's see what else um favorite craft so far I have to say that I I love junk journals because um, that's probably the, the most the thing that I've stuck with the longest um, I like the variety of it, and I like it because you can use all kinds of different things to make them. You can use paper bags, file folders, um, a book, you know, they take the stuff out of the book and use the book to make it. You can make it out of fabric. I mean, you can use collages, uh, digital downloads, scrapbook paper, junk mail. I mean, you know, you name it, you can put in a junk journal. And there's just so many different ways to do it, and I find that just 
it, it kind of keeps your interest always and watching all these people with all these great ideas you know it's sometimes it gets overwhelming because you're like oh my god I want to make that I want to make that but you know I rein myself in and try to stick with you know what I'm good at but I do like to make you know try out some new stuff too so and I like it because you know you can do the seasonal stuff and you know it just kind of it kind of keeps it interesting but anyway so that is my questions and so I have to tag four people and I put it on my list to tag Beate from Strand Next One is her YouTube channel. I love Beate. She always is so sweet to comment on my stuff, and um, she's a really nice lady. is a great crafter, and she's you know just always real sweet to everybody. Jenny Dreamer, she's another one that's a great crafter, and she comments on my stuff. I love her sweet laugh. She's a really nice person, and Sue. Um, Sue is a really good friend of my, me and my mom's, more so my mom, but um, we've gotten to really know Sue over the years, and she's just a really good person, and she's an excellent crafter, and um, I really enjoy watching her her um, YouTube channels. And, of course, Little Rhonda Lee, she's just the sweetest person, and she's been commenting on my stuff for a long time, and um, so I absolutely love her, and she's, she's just a fun person to watch. When she does her YouTube, she always has this music in the background. She has her drink, and she just makes it really fun. So she's just a really fun person, and I think if I met her in person, me and her would really have a great time together. So anyway, that's me in a nutshell. So I hope y'all enjoy it, and keep look, watching my videos. I appreciate all my subscribers and all the lovely comments everybody leaves me. So y'all have a blessed day.